Micah said he putting on a little weight. And now the world coming to an end. Relax. This is a good thing. Good people. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk right back like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? How are y'all feeling? I'm feeling great. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all got a chance to catch the live yesterday. Nice little hour turn up. Talked the, talk the whole draft, each player. Um, broke down a couple different things. It was a good little time. If you're bored, got an hour to burn, go check that out. It's a good little joint. Um, appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all again for all the support. Let's talk about Micah Parsons. Superstar Micah Parsons. One of the best players in the league, Micah Parsons. Y'all know our all-star, not all-star, but our Pro Bowl, all-pro pass rusher. The unicorn. The one that can play multiple positions if he wanted to. He came, oh, he's talking to Clarence Hill. Clarence Hill put this out today. That Michael Parsons says that he wants to bulk up. He won't be with the team during these, um, these workouts. He'll be away from the team in Austin, Texas, bulking up because he's going to be playing primarily defensive end this year. And everybody freaked out. The craziest thing is this. I said weeks ago I wanted Micah Parsons to play more linebacker to keep him clean because last year he complained of exhaustion and being tired, etc. And everybody said, no, Micah's best at end. This is how I know Cowboys fans are crazy, and no matter what you say, they don't get mad. I literally had people arguing with me, no, Micah's best at end. Why would you move him back to linebacker? You're a crazy person. Micah basically says that to Clarence Hill. Clarence Hill tweets it out, and now everybody wants... Micah needs to go back to linebacker. Why does he want to just play end? He needs to be a unicorn. He needs to be multiple. And I'm like, I just argued with multiple people in this fan base about the opposite. Now y'all tripping about this. Meaning y'all get mad about everything. You know what I'm saying? So a little tizzy started on Twitter for about an hour till Micah came out and tweeted, hey, I'm going to put on five to 10 pounds. Max. Five to 10. Max. Probably around like five. You know what I'm saying? He wants to bulk up to, to, to handle the attrition that comes with the trenches. This is him basically verbally telling you guys, I'm training to prep myself for the season. It's early May. I'm putting in that work. I haven't. You've seen videos of him putting in work all off season. Mike has been doing his thing. But y'all just want to be mad about anything. If there's any player on this team you can trust that's engaged, that's, that, that's ready to go right now, can play the season right now, is Micah Parsons. If he says he's bulking up, I trust him. If he says he's slimming down, I trust him. Whatever he want to do, he want to play edge. Micah can say, I'm playing corner. And I'll probably be like, you know what? He probably could pull it off because he's that locked in. So everybody relax, especially when Micah said, relax, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is what this told me. Um, if y'all still tapped in, this is what this mainly told me. We're going to add another linebacker. I promise y'all. Just out of depth purposes. We cannot enter the season. We cannot enter the season. Although I got trust in the LVE. Especially with Mozzie Smith in front of him. He's going to be a better player. I got trust in Damone Clark. Phenomenal rookie season to me. Especially coming off a neck injury. With a full offseason program. Not rehabbing but training. Damone Clark should be even better. Two forced fumbles. Multiple solo tackles. He had a good little rookie campaign considering he was coming off neck fusion surgery. You know what I'm saying? After that, you have Jabril Cox, Harper, and Overshone. Right? I really feel like they're going to add another linebacker. I do. I feel like it's right there on the platter. Will Micah play some linebacker? Probably. Shout out to my boy, Professor O. He said Micah probably play another 80-20 type year, kind of like this year. Yes, on pass rush downs, they might choose to move him around from time to time. I can see that. I can see some Dante Fowler on the edge, Sam Williams, um, obviously D-Law, Armstrong, and they'll move Micah around, see where they can get wins at. I can see that. No question. But primarily, he's going to be off the edge. And with our linebackers right now, I, you, I just feel like you're going to add another one. Overshone's not going over. He was just drafted. They seem to have lost faith in Jabril Cox. He might not 
might not make the team. And that that's that that's hard to say. Now maybe Jabril Cox has been having a phenomenal offseason. Haven't heard any reporting. Maybe he's gonna come back, prove everyone wrong. I would love for him to prove me wrong. We don't need to add nobody. Because I had faith, especially in his coverage ability. Jabril Cox came out of college being able to cover receivers. And they just kind of, I don't know what was going on. Now, he, he flashed a little bit when he played some. Then he got hurt, and they lost faith. Now, maybe the injury really took something out of his game, and we, we just haven't seen it. But I don't know what's going on, why they just don't seem to have faith in Jabril Cox, you know? So, I'm looking at the free agent, um, free agent, not wide receivers, free agent linebackers. And I'm like, who fits best? Now, you know, you got the Kyle Van Noyes, 32-year-old veteran, I don't see him fitting our our, our, our scheme. And I'm a savvy veteran, but I don't, I don't see it. You got Zach Cunningham. I don't see it neither. You know what I'm saying? I just don't see it. Now, you got Miles Jack, young linebacker that the Steelers just part of ways with, 100-something plus stops last year. I think that he would fit our system, but he also wants to get paid. He do. Now, maybe he'll come to the Cowboys for a prove-it deal. And just a rotational piece and play his way into a better deal because it ain't no better stage than coming to the Cowboys. So you'll come here, play for a lesser deal. Because at this point in the year, you're not getting big money. The big money is gone. If Miles Jack was going to get big money, it would have been pre-draft earlier in the offseason. Miles Jack ain't getting big money. He's going to get okay money. But he's young. He has potential. And unless there's an injury issue I don't know about, you brought him onto this team, he could play his way into a bigger contract. As Robert Quinn. I would say Dalton Schultz, but he didn't get the big contract. But, you know, you 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 show up here, Randall Cobb did. You show up here, you have a great first a great year, you can go get money. So Miles Jack and his agent might consider that. You know what I'm saying? I would. Then there's Deion Jones, about 28 years old, still not 30. Been in Dan Quinn's system, knows Dan Quinn. Coming from Cleveland. I feel like he'd be a perfect fit. With his age, rotating him in. On certain downs, maybe you pull LVE off the field or you pull – you probably pull from Demone Clark off the field. LVE is more of our field general presently, green dot, et cetera. But I do think that we added Deion Jones. I just feel like his veteran status, the contract will be right. I feel like he would fit perfectly. I just do. You know what I'm saying? We need another linebacker if Mike is going to be primarily playing edge. I just – I feel it. And we took over Sean. But Overshown, I feel like, is going to be primarily special teams. I do not feel like Overshown is our linebacking fix. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they want youth to rotate in, and I'm reaching. But I can see us adding a veteran linebacker. I want a veteran receiver. That's another video for another day. I feel like adding Deion Jones, possibly a Miles Jack, both of them could be playing on a one-year deal to get a better deal next year. They both got a lot of football ahead of them. The Cowboys would be perfect. I just feel like if Mike is going to be playing primarily edge, we got a good edge rotation. I feel like one more linebacker piece, not a starting linebacker. We got a great starting linebacker core. I feel like Damone Clark and LVE are great starting linebackers. But to add a veteran like Deion Jones that has been with Dan Quinn before, knows the system, would be perfect. And just potential-wise for Miles Jack would be perfect. The other linebackers, I'm, I, I just don't see it. And maybe it's a linebacker out there I don't know about because, you know, Will McClay know way more about scouting and keeps up with players way better than me with his scouting department. But just the top names I can think of. Now, you see out there right now, they got Patrick Queen could be on the trading block and Isaiah Simmons. The Cowboys ain't going for them because they want this. You know what I'm saying? They, they got their, their fifth-year options declined, and the teams are probably moving off of them, and they probably get traded. And we already know that our counterparts up there in Philly, they going after one of them. I already can see it. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even saying they're bad. But it is sometimes glaring when teams want to move off of you. It means that you got to go reprove yourself. That could be good or bad, you know. But I don't see us going after Patrick Queen. I just don't see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Y'all let me know if y'all will want Patrick Queen or Isaiah Simmons. And first of all, let me know if you think the Cowboys will do it because I don't see it. I can see Deion Jones. I can. It's a small percentage chance I can see a Miles Jack. He's been a free agent for a while. I haven't heard him go to any other team. Linebacker spot seems to be filled up. If there's an underlying story I don't know about with Miles Jack, y'all let me know. But I can see his agent being like, yo, go be a cowboy for a year. Ball out. Go get a contract. Deion Jones, you're a little bit older. You can do the same. Or you can stick around with Dan Quinn at a reasonable price and get an extended deal. Maybe a two-year deal. But my point is this. 
I feel like we're going to add another linebacker. I would love your thoughts in the comments on that. Let me know how you feel about Micah saying he's going to add a little bit of weight, play primarily edge. I trust Micah. No matter what he's doing, I trust him. But it's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. I'm telling you, the linebacker core is going to be fine, and Micah is going to kill everybody this year. <laughs> I holler.